what Canon lens can I buy for under 300? Let me show you some great examples. Hello and welcome. So what we're looking at is photography live show. We look at photography gear. I've done a fair few videos about gear and especially getting some cheap stuff. You don't have to spend loads of money. So if you're looking for a camera, if you're looking for a lens and you've got a budget in mind, I've made a whole series of videos about getting a, a DSLR camera from anything down from 100 all the way up to 900 and 1000 even. Um, so there's loads of options out there to get shooting photography and even video. You might find you get to a point where you want a good lens, you've got a budget in mind. I've done a few of these videos, you may have come through this series. So now we're concentrating on 300. I've got some options up for you here. What do you think? What can we do? What are you shooting is the question. Some of these I'm going to open straight away because I've got an idea in my head and some of them I use. I can't believe that the EF macro lens 100mm 2.8 is down at $300. Dollars, pounds. Mm. It depends on your currency. I've opened one up straight away. For our podcast listeners, I will be putting a, a link in the description of all the lenses I'm looking at to help you out because I know you found this series helpful because you're looking at your budgets. So that's the Zof Talks Photography Podcast. If you're not familiar with that, um, I am making a YouTube video about this. So if you get the chance, pop over and have a look at the channel video. You'll see live examples. So I'm considering in my head that you're a product photographer. Um, you want a, a lens like that. It's not the L version of the lens. However, I use this lens still today, even though I have a lineup of lenses, which are all professional series lenses. You can see up there, lined up. Um, but what we're going to do is give you examples of what you can use. So this 100 millimeter 2.8 USM lens, which is an ultrasonic motor, is like slow. It's uh, quieter and it focuses quicker. So with this macro lens, you can basically take photographs at the same um, kind of aspect every time. So it kind of looks not muddled about with. So if you have a zoom lens, you take a picture at 17 millimeters and then zoom in a bit and then zoom out a bit. Every photo is going to be slightly a different perspective. So the item will look a bit different, like scale wise, if that makes sense because it's like looking at that and then looking at it further away, but the distance of the background versus the item in front of it. I didn't do a good job of explaining that, but I might do another video and explain that in more detail and give you examples. Um, okay, so for product photography at £300, that is an excellent option of a lens and that will get you shooting as well as portraits. You can actually do great portraits with a 100mm macro lens as well. And that's a 2.8, so you'll get some good background blur as well on your photos. Um, and it get your fo focus concentrated on the thing you're interested in. So that's the first option. What else do we have here? Say, for example, you're not a product photographer and you're, holy moly, mates. Let's get you some professional stuff here is what we're going to do today. Look at that bad boy at 300. Used item, but is still fully operational, functions as intended. That is a 70 to 200 f four lens i have the 70 to 200 2.8 lens which is the same one but it's 2.8 and it's is so it's image stabilized so this is a cheaper option to my lens however let me bring you back on that screen okay it's cheap option to my lens however it's an f4 which means it would be good for video work as well So in that example, I think it's an L glass. If it was eye image stabilized, it would have been a cherry on the cake because you could have done some great handheld video work with that lens as well. But that is a full on proper professional lens. I would be happy to buy that at 300 pounds. If you had a budget of say like a thousand pounds or dollars, that'd be one lens to get. The one we looked at before this, the 100 millimeter macro would be a great lens. And then you'll need a, folk, um, a zoom lens in between. I've got the 24 to 70, 2.8 again. But we're looking at this price range today. And I'm quite surprised that at 300 pounds, you can get like a lens like that. That's a professional series lens, F4, 70 to 200. Great option. I'm glad I did this today because I'm 
Um, I'm surprised how cheap lenses have become now. Uh, well, I'm saying cheap, but that's a relative term. If you're using it to make money or you're using it professionally, then you should be able to earn that money back. If you're using it for a hobby, £300 is a lot of money to spend on a lens. So we need to see it from both sides. Um, okay, and what else do we have here? I'm just looking through the list to see what I can. Let me zoom in a bit. So this is a bit more visually easier for you guys to see. Okay, so yes, what else have we got? Let's, we're looking for a zoom lens now. A nice zoom lens at 300 18 to 135 that is technically a kit lens i'd call it because you get that with like kits but it's still a good option let's have a look do we have anything else i'm ignoring purposely the ultra wides but you know what we could look at an ultra wide but nah we're not in this video we might do a separate one for that canon macro lens the 100 again another one boxed up on 295 uh, efs and what else do we have Oh, okay. That's interesting. So actually, you know what? That might be the price range of that camera lens. The one I looked at just before this one. Let me just show you the one I looked at this one. So there's another example of a 70 to 200 F4. And that's at 280 pounds. So maybe that F4 is cheaper. Because I think my one is a 2.8. And it's the IS version. And it's the first version. So that's probably more more like six seven hundred pound but as we go through this series you might see one my lenses come up i'll let you know as they are because we've already looked at one of my lenses which is the that one as in it's not my listing it's more that i have the same lens so i'm suggesting options that i know would be good for you so 100 macro we've looked at that's fine get that out the way this 70 we will still i'll still keep that on my list actually so that lens is there and okay and what else do we have okay so this one i'm giving you as an option it depends the type of photos you're doing because you might not want a lens that's so big this one is at 18 to 135 so you've actually got the both ends of the spectrum and if you're not sure about the types of photos you want to take then it might be better that you get something that is giving you a wide option because if you have a camera uh, lens that gives you wide photos you might like to do landscapes you might like to get ultra wide views of things um or alternatively you might like to zoom in on things so play with it see what photos you are able to take which ones you like and then decide on the next lens after that because naturally you're going to buy a few lenses so that's all right don't worry about that um this is a good option i'll put this down on my list as number three for you okay so, so far we've had three lenses at the 300 range do we have any other contenders i want to show you something really nice like a, a nice do it all round. let's have a look what do we have this is kind of live as it were okay no okay i'll show it to you but i'll tell you why i think no so this lens is a canon efs lens so firstly at 300 i would rather buy an ef lens because that's quite a bit of money if you think about it and you want to be able to use that lens on another body if you upgrade so the first thing to note here is it's 18 to 200 which is a really wide range of spectrums but the f number is 3.5 to 5.6 so i would want a fixed one if i could if i could have like a 2.8 across that range I know it'll be more money, but we want to, that's why I'm saying no to that. So I'm going to take that off the list and then have a look at something else and try and get you something more like what I'm suggesting. So what have we got here? Will we even find it? 1.4 prime lens. Yeah, why not? Okay. That's a lens I also have. So I'll show you that. And then we need to look at another one. And let me see. What do we have? Yeah, I think at this price range, we're not going to get a 2.8. Okay, so this is a prime lens. I showed you a, a cheaper one in the £100 budget, which was the 50mm 1.2. This is a 50mm 1.4 lens. And the 1.4 is a slight bit better than the 1.8 because this lens right now that I'm recording on, on my 50 <clears throat> Canon 550D, is a 50 millimeter 1.4 lens which gives you lovely background blur 
and I've had the 1.2, I've had the 1.4, I've had the 1.8. I didn't like the 1.8. Well, the 1.8 is a great option for a budget, but when you're getting serious about photography, you want something that will be a bit more robust. The 50mm 1.8 is a very nifty 50, plasticky lens, it sounds quite loud. This 50mm 1.4 is the mid grind in that lens, so it's actually like between the 1.2, and the 1.2 is just too big and heavy. And for that extra background blur, or for, I'm calling it background blur a lot, but that's trying to keep it like, not too technical and um, so that lens would basically be an option for you but the price also reflects that so 51.4 i'm gonna put that on my list today so on this options we have three lenses let me just make sure we can get that i've got the 70 to 200 f4 lens and we've got the 18 to 135 lens which is a 3.5 to 5.6 and we've got the 50 millimeter 1.4 USM lens. So that it's not a bad little selection, is it, for getting you shooting? So I'm hoping that's given you a bit of help with that. And that's quite a good price range to be at 300. But you know what? You know what I'm going to say. If you've got a little bit more money, save up and have a look at this video because we're going to look at the one that's a little bit more money, but you get loads of options available to you. So check out the next one in this series and I'll see you on that video. Go on, save a bit of money and check out this video.